Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add a form field to an existing form on your website and how to carry the data a website visitor adds in that form field through the user workflow. While many people can add a form field to a form in Dreamweaver, it can still be challenging to know the following steps to take to store and use that data. Today we'll use the eCart checkout form for our example, but once you understand this process, you can shape it to fit other workflows. To follow along with this tutorial exactly, you'll need a site that you have applied an eCart checkout to. If you're still getting started with building a dynamic store, I'd recommend our Integrating DataBridge and eCart tutorial, which you can find on the eCart or the DataBridge support page. That tutorial will help you build a database-driven product catalog with a shopping cart and checkout. You do not need to use DataBridge to build your catalog, um, but to follow along with the steps here, if you have at least built an eCart shopping cart and checkout, um, it'll be a lot easier to follow along. To get started, open Dreamweaver and open your checkout page as well as your confirm page. The confirm page is where your users review their order. Then the first step will be to go back to the checkout page. And for this example, we will add a company field to the billing information. Of course, you can add any type of field you want, but that's what we'll use for our example today. So let's add it after the name, the first and last name in the billing information section. I will click on email address in the row below where I want to add my company field. Then I'm going to click insert, table objects, insert row above. And then I'm going to click where I want the company field and go up to my menu and click insert, form, text field. For the ID, we'll call it company. And for the label, we'll use company properly capitalized. And I do want to attach the label tag using the for attribute. That way it'll be formatted like my other fields. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on the label, make sure I have the whole label selected. And then I'm going to drag it over into the column where all of my labels are. So now if we look over in code view, you can see that it has everything except my input field does not have a value attribute. Um, every once in a while, this will pose a problem for a server. It's not too often, but to be in line with our other tags and um, to have it work 100% of the time, let's just go ahead and add value equals, and then we'll keep it empty. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to do this in the properties inspector, so you will have to code that. Coming back to design view, you can see our company field there. Go ahead and save the page. Next, we're going to add a session variable so that we can store company in the session. So come over to your bindings floater in Dreamweaver. If you don't have this panel open, just click on window, then bindings from the Dreamweaver menu. Click the plus sign, click session variable. And I'm going to name it similar to my other session variables. So it'll say eCart checkout form underscore company. Click OK. And if you come over to the bindings window, you can see that it was added as a session variable. Now we're going to go over to our confirm page so that we can add company as a hidden element and store it behind the scenes. Come down to your hidden elements, which are right before the modify information and checkout buttons, and place your cursor right after the last hidden element. And then we will click insert form hidden field. Come down to the property inspector and change the name of hidden field to be company. For the value, we're going to paste in a custom snippet. You can copy paste it from the YouTube video description. We'll be using the same snippet later on in the video. And at that point, um, we'll talk a little bit more about why we're using a custom snippet. On this page, we also need to set the session value. So come over and open your server behaviors panel. Click plus, eCart, 
general set session value. Select any form post. For the session name, we're going to pick session variable we created, eCart checkout form underscore company. And for the value, we will go down to our checkout form and select company. And click OK. Over in code view, you can see that added a block of code. Go ahead and click Save. Now we probably want to add the data that the user entered uh, for their company on um, the billing information section of this page. So under billing information, um, I can see through the properties inspector that this is uh, first name and last name. So I'm going to put in a line break to add company after that. And then I'm going to go over to my bindings panel and I will use the form post to display it back to them. So I go to my eCart checkout form and scroll down to company and I'm going to drag that over. And I can save again. Now let's go over to a browser and look at how that's working for the website visitors. Here's my shopping cart. I have one thing added to the cart. If I click checkout, you can see my company field displays here under billing information. I'm just going to add some data here. And I will bypass some of the information just to show you this working. So I'll go ahead and click checkout. And here is the review your order page, confirm.php. And under billing information, you can see Jane Doe Incorporated was the company that I entered in. Now it's being displayed back to the website visitor and they can go ahead and check out. One other thing you'll want to do is store the company field in um, your orders table of your database so that that can be stored with the person's order. So if you open your database administrator, open your orders table, and then we're going to add the company field. So we can do add one field at end of table, and we will call it order company. We can leave the type, we'll do 100 for the length, the default value is null, and it's allowed to be null. Can go ahead and click Save. And you can see order company has been a field added to my database. So now we want to come back to Dreamweaver and make sure you're on your confirm page and you want to come over to your server behaviors and find the eCart store summary in database server behavior. Go ahead and double click that. Now you want to leave everything exactly as is, except you're going to scroll down the columns until you get to order company. And then for the value, I'm going to give you a snippet of code. You could just set it to the session variable, eCart checkout form company. But if the session uh, was never set, if somebody somehow hit the confirm page without the session being set, they would get a notice. Um, you know, on the page in the browser that that variable was not set. So we prefer the full set of code that Dreamweaver does not um, set up for you automatically. And that's the code that uh, I'm going to give you that snippet to. It'll be in the YouTube description if you want to just copy paste it. Go ahead and click OK. Save all your pages. So that completes the process. Now you're also storing I'm the company in your database when somebody checks out. This ends the tutorial, but some other things you could do with this are edit the email receipt or add an email receipt. Now that company is stored as a session value, you can access it um, and add it to the email receipts. Um, you may be sending information to a payment gateway. In that case, you would be editing the server behavior that does that. And you could add company in there 
if um, that's a field that you can send to your payment gateway. There are a lot of different ways people follow through with the rest of this workflow. So just know that that session value is now available for you to use for anything you want it to for the rest of the workflow. I hope this was helpful today. And if uh, you need any technical support for this video uh, or for our products, or if you just want more information, please visit us at www.webassist.com.